In this video, I'm going to explain how to set up a folder which you'll share one time with your class, and then you can always drop all your assignments into that folder in the future, and everything that you drag into there will automatically be shared with your students without you having to change the share settings. So let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. The first thing I'm gonna do is on the left-hand side, I've put up my drive and on the right hand side I've pulled up another account and that's going to be what I'm pretending is the student side. So again the left side is going to be teacher, the right side is going to be student. So I'm going to create a folder and let's just say this is my A block class. And So let's just create the folder. And so then you'll see that in my drive I now have this A block class. By right clicking on it, I get some options and I can choose to share this folder. So here's where you're going to want to put all your email addresses from your A block class in this case. And this is just a one time thing. And so you can just type in all of your students' names and their email addresses will automatically populate. Um, and since you're only doing this once, it won't be that much work. You'll probably want to keep the can edit um, checked. You could also choose can view, and that might be an instance where you don't want students to be able to edit any of the documents that are in the folder. You just want to share out resources, but you'll probably just be doing that with Haiku. And so things in Google Drive are probably going to be things that you want to be collaborative, so make sure it's can edit. Because remember, since we're setting up the folder, everything that we put in this folder after this is automatically going to have those settings. And so you'll probably want to keep can edit checked. And then keep this notify by email, share and save. And so once you're done with that, just press done, and you could have just entered all the people at once. I'm just sharing it with myself. And so now if I go to the student side, you'll see if I go to shared with me, there is now a folder there. And so look at what happens if I as a teacher go to the folder, so go to the folder, click on the folder, and now if I create a document, since I'm in the folder, it is going to create the document in the folder. And it tells me that the created item will have the same sharing permissions as the selected folder. So that's why I just said you probably want to leave it as can edit. So let's create and share. And so let's just call this document one. And then let me just make this big for a moment. You'll see if I did go to the share settings, you'll see that it automatically shared with my other account there which is what I promised you it would do. And so I'm just going to get out of this. And if I go back to my drive, you'll see if I go to a block class, it's document one is there in that folder. And if I click from the student end on a block class, you'll see that document one automatically went in the folder. So this will be a good organization tool for both you and for the student because it's not just going to be like this long list of all these different documents. Um, it'll be organized automatically into the folder and on the student end also all his or her documents will be automatically going into that folder. And just a little note here, you'll see in Google Drive, you'll see this little outline of like, it looks like a man to me, um, if you're sharing the folder. So this is a folder I was sharing, this is a folder I'm not sharing, not sharing, sharing. So one more time, if I want to actually create the document in the folder, I'm going to first click on folder, I'm going to create a document, and it will automatically share. Okay, and so let's go ahead and do that. And then it's in the A block class. If I go over to shared with me, from the student end, go to A block class, there it is. And why don't we just test out editing it? Go back to the teacher end, and it's there. So that's pretty nice. And then the added benefit of that also is going to be when you do download Google Drive um, the folder for your desktop if you choose to do that then you won't just have all these documents coming up all over the place they will actually all be within 
you know, your folder set up for your specific class. So I think that'll be a good organization technique and that will be a really easy way to just automatically be sharing with your class without having to do it individually each time. The final thing that I wanted to touch on before I close this video is just like I just said that it's really nice to be able to see everything on your Google Drive folder here. Notice how if I go to my docs, everything that I have in my drive automatically shows up here, but everything that's in shared with me right now is not over here. Okay, so your Google Drive folder only syncs with what's in my drive. Because of that, what I would do is First thing, when you set up this folder for your class, I would have them go ahead and drag this into their drive. That's not going to change anything on your end. It will only change things on their end in that it will actually be stored on their drive. And so when they download Google Drive on their desktop, it will automatically be showing up on their desktop. So that's really important. Again, all I did was it wasn't shared with me. It's still going to stay in shared with me. But by dragging it in to the, my drive, you'll see that it puts in this label like we were talking about with Gmail labels of my drive and it goes into the students my drive. Um, just to show you from the teacher end, let me do that for an example so I can show you. Say I want this Bloodborne Pathogens PowerPoint forever. Um, you can, I could put that into my drive. And so it wasn't showing up before I was showing you. It did not show up here. But now when I go back here, you'll see that it did show up because now I've dragged it into my drive. And you'll see that when I go to share with me, it says my drive and it is actually in fact in my drive. And that's it for now.